we've got a lot of news. We've got a lot of West Ham um, rumours and tittle-tattle to cover. And that's for sure today. I I'm not going to do all the PAI Capital stuff. I'm fully aware that they were on TalkSport yesterday. I um, actually set up my radio to listen to... Actually, I didn't. I didn't set up my radio. The radio was already set up. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't basically build a radio just so just so I could listen to what Philip Beard had to say. No, 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 no. The radio was already set up in the kitchen. I switched it on whilst I was making my poached eggs, uh, and they were on at twelve o'clock sharp yesterday at lunchtime. Um, so I listened to what they had to say. I'm not going to go into it all over again. There's there's no point. I didn't learn anything uh, new at all. So uh, that's that's that. The one thing I would say about it is. And it cropped up in the news again yesterday. Don't know how true it is, but apparently Rio Ferdinand had, had been had been trying to suggest that Declan Rice should move to Manchester United again. And and I only, I only laugh because it's just got so ridiculous. Just the thought that that this group trying to take over West Ham would choose a couple of figureheads who they thought would make no mistake about it. Rio and Anton Ford, Ferdinand are there to appease us. They're there for us. They're not there because they know about I I capital investments or, or anything like that. It's not why they're there. They've literally cherry picked a couple of a couple of former players. They thought, oh, who will butter up the West Ham fans? And I just, it's just, I just find it funny that they picked Rio and and even though we've all pointed out, oh, excuse me, you shouldn't have picked him. <laughs> He's carried on doing it. He don't care what well, they say. Zero, zero. What's it's given? Um, let's put it that way. Uh, speaking of centre halves, which of course Rio was, and a very, very good one, we are linked with many, many, many centre halves. And um, when I, I so oh, this is the one football roundup. I do the one football app in a minute. I'll ask you to download it and so on and so forth. Um, but when I went on there, so we got the Malenkovic one. And if you remember, I, I did suggest that I was going to do a video uh, on Malenkovic. Because I didn't sort of know what type of player he was. I was going to download some footage and have a look. And I thought, oh, you know. But now it looks like he's in talks with Tottenham. I just thought, thank goodness I didn't waste um, any of my time doing that. Because I would have put this video together about how great or a great sign in Malenkovic would have been. If he was a great sign, I've never seen him play. Might be might be rubbish for all I know. Um, but I, I understand he's okay. So uh, anyway, um, I didn't put it together. It looks like he's in advanced talks with Tottenham. But what I did do is I did allow myself a little Google of Milenkovic. Anyway, Milenkovic isn't, um, apparently isn't coming, so we're back in Vizuma. We'll deal with that in a second. We're going to take a look at all the stories on, on the One Football app. But uh, we've got to Google Milenkovic first. I really do feel we have to. And, um, and I'll actually, I, in fact, what I'll do is I'll turn my camera around now and actually film on my screen. I'm not making this up. All right, I'm not making this up. I'll fill my screen for you so you can see exactly what I'm seeing now. And I'll try and edit it in. Um, so the first one is, how old is Milenkovic? Well, that's fine. That's a normal question to ask. A uh, second one, is Nikola Milenkovic quick? Well, this is what I want to know about every player. Uh, so I think these are pertinent questions. How old are you? How quick are you? These are my chat up lines. I say this, I say this to ladies. Um, don't get a chance for a third question. Uh, They've normally run off very, very quickly. Well, not that quickly. They, they tend to be very old. Anyway, um, what, posi <laughs> what position does Milenkovic? Um, I don't know what to say. I don't know. Missionary, but a doggy. I don't know. I don't what, what position does Milenkovic? How tall is Milenkovic? Which I'm pleased that they, I'm pleased that they managed to construct at least partial sentence rather than... Um, what height Milenkovic, which is what I would have preferred. Um, but we do get a, a what foot is Milenkovic, not what foot Milenkovic. What foot is Milenkovic? Um, so I don't know. Apparently he's six foot two. Um, but that's the height and, and the foot, isn't it? I joke. Anyway, that, that's that's that. That's um, that's Nikola Milenkovic. That's his Google. His Google searches. Why not? Uh, but I do like what position does Milenkovic. Unfortunately, we'll never get to ask him because he's not he's not going to sign. Um, maybe we'll find out if he ever scores a goal for Tottenham and he's involved in a goal celebration. I hope not. Um, but you never know. Anything goes these days. Uh, moving back on to what is actually on our football app rather than rather than that sort of nonsense. It's Zuma. It's our favourite. It's it's our favourite. We're in advanced talks with Zuma, but it's it's breaking down due to wages. Because he wants a lot of money. How much Zuma? How much Zuma want? 
a lot. Uh, and I'm not, I would say this, I'm not overly convinced that we should pay it. But what I do, all these stories have come from the One Football app. As you know, the link is in the description below. If you haven't downloaded it already, click it, download it. It's free. If you don't like it, you can unload it, uninstall it, whatever. You can do that sort of thing to it. Uh, and get rid of it again uh, but it does aggregate all the West Ham news for you although you have to to do that otherwise you're going to get all the Premier League news so you can just trim it down just to get the news that you want and it's relevant to you and then on this day it is Zuma it's Zuma again so apparently Zuma is on what Zuma on Zuma on 65 grand a week what Zuma wants well he wants 130 grand a week I just you know we've had this conversation Myself and Gio had it very, very recently when we did the cup of tea. And I just don't think you should be smashing your wage structure for this. It's, do you know what? It's not, it's not just that either, right? A 65 grand's all right a week, isn't it? I mean, you, you wouldn't mind, would you? Yeah, let's, let's be fair. Um, unless you are Kurt Zuma and you're watching this, most people are turning around saying, yeah, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind 65 grand a week. Kurt Zuma's probably thinking, oh, not for me. Not for me. I want 130. But I, I'm assuming that most of you are not uh, Premier League football players. So most of you are nodding, saying, yeah, actually 65 grand a week's fine. So he's all right, isn't he? You know, he's, he's probably... He's not probably getting the value Cheerio, box of Cheerios in Aldi, is it? They're not even Cheerios, really, are they? What do they call them? Multi-grain hoops. He's not getting... He's not getting the multi-grain hoops in Aldi for 90 pence. That's what I'm saying. He's probably able to get ricicles, even though they don't make them anymore. Um, he's probably not. He's probably eating something very, very healthy. Fish. Fish for breakfast. Fish for tea. Um, and fish for supper. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. My point is, uh, he doesn't need it. He doesn't need the money. And it almost feels as if he... Never, never get a player that thinks they're doing you a favour. And I, I think it has a little feeling about oh if i come to west ham i'm doing you a favor because i'm kurt zuma um and uh and you're gonna have to pay me a lot of money and i'll be your highest wage earner well hold, hold, hold on just a second yeah for me it, it stands to reason that the highest wage earner should be the best player <laughs> um i'm sure Declan rice would agree as well you know you really should and i understand we've got it wrong in previous seasons and hell was on lots of money and Chicharito was on lots of money. Um, and obviously at the moment, Yarmolenko's on lots of money. I mean, but those are errors, and hopefully we've learned from that. But if we're going to learn from that, then you've got to make sure that you put in place a structure whereby somebody just can't come in and, and do and do that, you know, and get that sort of money. So um, that being said, I, looking at defence, we need another centre-half. I... I think, look, I, I've said this before, I think when transfer deadline day comes, I think we're getting at least two players. I really do. Uh, um, I think we need a bit more than that. But I think we're getting at least two. I, st I do think one of those may well be a a paid for a paid for signing rather than a stolen player. Uh, you, you can never get read. You can never get registered those players at your nick, can you? Um, so I think this this one's going to be really, really interesting. Uh, the other thing which was an interesting article which said uh, Declan Rice and David Moyes come to an agreement over change at West Ham. Uh, this is from... Uh, that One Football got it from Court Offside again. It's about... Declan Rice has said he did a YouTube video with Tubes. Do you know Tubes? Um, he used to be on Sky Sports. Like, he might still be on Sky Sports. I mean, Declan did a really good video playing golf in once, which I thought was, was really good. A lot of fun. He did a, a Kevin Nolan chicken dance. That's what that is, by the way. Chicken, not, not. Could be a pigeon, but it's a chicken. I'm telling you. Um, so he's done this interview with Tubes, and in the interview, he's suggested that he's got more license to get forward and be a box to box player under David Moyes. So that's why not? I, I like it. I've said I think he's he's got the ability to add that to his game. Um, I did, I did laugh. There's a one of I got you got to listen to this. Um, West Ham must consider Philip Coutinho swoop. Oh, really? Um, this is according to the Sunday Mirror. August 15th, page 74. Very, very specific. If you want to go and check it out. Um, Barcelona has been offered in a cut price deal to a trio of Premier League teams. Arsenal, Everton and West Ham. Well, there you go. Well, that, those are the three you'd pick, right? Well, you know, they're, they're, you're always... Those are the three that are always picked. Um... Disappointing not to see Leeds in there. Leeds are normally chucked him. It's claimed that any interested club would only have to pay around 60% of his 7.7 .7 million 
transfer, which is around, a basically 60% would be 96 grand a week. Um, did you know? Did you know? I bet Barcelona, obviously we're not going to buy Coutinho. Did you know that Barcelona are 1.1 billion pound in debt? 1.1 billion. Wow. Wow. I mean, you know, there's, there's debt, there's serviceable debt, isn't there? Which, you know, serviceable debt, I guess, is debt that you can afford, right? If, you're, if your revenue is, as a football club, is 200 million, um, uh, if your revenue is 200 million a season, you can probably afford debt of, I don't know, you can afford to pay, you know what I'm saying, you can afford to pay 10, 20 million a year towards your debts, is what I'm saying, because they're still leaving a surplus of 180 million. You're not going bust, right? You might, you know, might have to cut your cloth accordingly, but you get what I'm saying. How on earth do you service a 1.1 billion pound debt? No wonder they had to let Messi go. I mean, they are bang in trouble. And it does make me laugh, all this financial fair play and whatnot. You know, how come somebody that's absolutely minted, and I don't want I don't want Manchester City spending tons and tons and tons of money. I don't because they just run away with it. But they can afford it. They wouldn't bankrupt the club. Surely of a one point one billion pound debt, that club has to be close to folding, doesn't it? Wouldn't I you would think so. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it's absolutely madness. So I'm not surprised. But this is plays into what I'm saying. There's going to be a lot of clubs like this. Transfer deadline day is going to be juicy. It's going to be juicy. It really is. Um, I'm looking forward to it, really. Even the big clubs, a lot of them are skin. And I think a few are pretending that they're not. And when it comes down to it, that's going to be really, really interesting. Anyway, other news. Barry Fry rules out Ivan Tony switch to West Ham to Barry Fry. He's, um, is he not the Peterborough director of football? Obviously, I know uh, that Ivan Tony was at Peterborough, but I'm not sure why he's saying Brentford can't uh, make him switch to uh, West Ham. Anyway, why would he want to? He's, he's their top number one striker. Brentford look like they're going to have a good season. Uh, everyone's tails wagging over this uh, new stadium and whatnot. You know, good luck to him. You know, good luck to him. Good luck to Brentford. I, you know, great story that is. I love that. Uh, more on Jesse Lingard. I'm leaving it. I'm not talking about Lingard today. No Lingard talk. Because... You know, something. You know, you know what I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm thinking something. Something may happen or may not happen. A Chelsea view Bruce Brucey at Dortmund. They spelling him as Rice alternative. They think, they think because they can't afford Declan Rice, which they can't, they're going to be able to afford Jude Bellingham. I can tell you. Look at how Dortmund conduct their business. Uh, Dortmund would not be selling Jude Bellingham uh, for less than 100 million. I, I really don't think so. So I don't think if they think they're going to get a, a cheap bargain there they're really not which brings me back on to finish on zoom if you pardon the expression to finish with zuma um it's uh chelsea need to sell if they want to do anything else they've just spent big on lukaku they got their 40 million for tammy abraham which i was surprised at to be fair fair play to them they said 40 million they held out 40 million fair enough i'm glad i'm glad we didn't pay it uh, i'm surprised roma got 40 million Maybe they're, maybe they're selling people. Maybe they already have. I just don't know. Have they got a good big financial backing? I just don't know. I don't know enough about Roma to even um, to even say anything remotely informed on the subject. Uh, but I, I certainly would imagine with the financial fair play and whatnot, Chelsea, are, Chelsea just spent big on Lukaku. So they're going to... They want to bring in this other centre-half whose name escapes me. They're going to have to... So Zuma, but they might well find that a little bit more difficult at 25 million. Um, the Milenkovic, um, who, um, what position Milenkovic? Uh, he was he was a little bit cheap, wasn't he, at 15 million? So maybe there was a deal to be done there. Do we really know that David Moyes likes him? I don't know. I I don't know. You, you can't, <laughs> David Moyes. David Moyes has said this weekend we don't need any signings. We're de we're probably bringing some signings in. Um, the, the the team are playing so well that we don't need any signings, and also that we're looking for signings. So uh, that cleared that up really, didn't it? Um, not much of a grey area there at all. In all honesty, I don't I don't blame him for not really saying anything or saying everything, which is which is what he did. We need signings. He knows that. He's no fool. A great team performance from us there, but he's going to know that as it gets into the season. Um, and players start to drop. You need a little bit more. You need a little. You need at least need at the whole bench full of players to 
players that you're going to use and want to use. Anyway, that's me waffled on 15 minutes. Where's time gone? I don't know. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back to... Will? There's no one else here. I'll be... I'll be... I'll be back, as he said. Uh, and I'll see you then.